Hi, I'm Mark from Valor XL. Thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to welcome you to a brief tutorial on how to use the record functions in Microsoft ClipChamp. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below this video for a recent tutorial that we did. If you're unfamiliar with ClipChamp, the tutorial will walk you through all of the basic functionality and features and you can see really all the things that you can do with this very powerful online video editing tool. Today, exclusively, we'll be looking at the record functions. And so to access them, I'm already logged into ClipChamp. And I'll go ahead and click on the Create a New Video option. And so now, as our project has opened up, I'll come over here to the vertical toolbar on the left and click on Record and Create. When I do that, you'll see that it's given us four record options and one create option. Now, this text to speech is a function that we already covered, and I'll also leave the link for that tutorial. Today, we're only looking at these, and of these four options, I'll only demonstrate two of them, but I'll go ahead and talk about the other two that we won't actually demonstrate. So, first of all, you do have the option of making an audio recording in ClipChamp. So, if I click on audio, right now I have a microphone connected to an audio interface that's plugged into my computer. So, that is being reflected right here. And as I'm talking, you'll see this is pulsing. So, that's basically just registering the fact that I am talking into the microphone. If I wanted to make an audio recording, literally all I would need to do is go ahead and click right here. And I could do up to 30 minutes of recording time. But I won't take the time to actually demonstrate that. That's as simple as it would be. And then once we were done recording, we could make edits in the project as you normally would for anything in ClipChamp. Now the same also holds true for the camera option. If I click here, I have an external webcam plugged in. Hi. And so I could, if I wanted to, just make a recording of whatever's on my camera. And there may be situations where it would be useful to do that, but today for our purposes, I'd like to go ahead and demonstrate the two that I think are probably the most common uses for this. I think this is a fabulous feature for anyone who makes tutorials who wants to do some sort of a training recording where you're actually showing people something on your computer. That could be navigating through the pages of a website. It could be showing someone how to use some type of software, or it could be looking at material contained in various documents. So one of the options that we have is to simply click on screen. Now it's telling me at this point that I can go ahead and click on the red button, so I'll do that. It'll open up this box that gives me a couple of different options for sharing something. So I can either share from a tab, a window, or the entire screen. And I'm going to go ahead and select entire screen. And I'm also going to toggle this that says also share system audio. I'll move that over so that that's enabled. Now what I'd like to do here is just make a short recording of navigating through an Excel spreadsheet kind of replicate what you might do if you were creating a tutorial of your own. But watch what happens when I click on Share. We get this really weird infinity effect. Why is that? Well, I told it to capture everything that's on the screen. But ClipChamp is on the screen, capturing everything that's on the screen. And so it goes on and on and on. But really, all I need to do at this point is open up the spreadsheet. And now I can do whatever I would like. If I wanted to type something in here, I could. I could highlight one of the cells and be doing this with a voiceover. So I'd basically be creating a tutorial. And at any point, if I wanted to, I could select anything else that I have open. And when I'm done, all I need to do is go back into ClipChamp and then hit Stop. Now, when I hit stop, it's going to immediately generate a preview of what we just recorded and start playing it back so you will hear the audio. But I also have the ability here to retake the recording, 
or to just go ahead and save and edit it. And I think that's what I'll do. And now it's incorporated it into our timeline, just as you would have really with anything. And I'm going to go ahead and just advance here until I get to the point where I actually opened the spreadsheet. So all I would need to do is use the split tool, then come down here, click, and delete. And I've now trimmed all of that preliminary stuff off the beginning so the video would start right here. Is open up the spreadsheet. If I wanted to, I could do the same thing at the end. And I could compile an entire project of different clips and put it all together to make one tutorial. So that's a really handy thing that you can do. And the last option that I'd like to look at here is this one, screen and camera. And I think this is one that you might end up using a lot for a tutorial. Because what's nice is you can have right down here your picture being displayed while you're actually showing something on screen. So I'll go ahead and click here and we'll have the same options as we did before. I'll select entire screen. We'll also toggle this. I'll click on share. And now, as before, we're getting this infinity effect. You'll also notice this has reversed the image, but that's okay. When we're recording and actually sharing something, in this case, the spreadsheet, you'll notice now I can't actually see myself but it is still recording whatever is on the webcam. So that will show up in the final recording. And now when I go here, we'll go ahead and end this. I'll click on stop and we'll save and edit. Now a couple of interesting things have happened here. First of all, you'll notice that it actually inserted this into the timeline as two separate elements. We have the webcam and the monitor screen capture. So you'll also see up here that we've got this image and then we've got this one down here. Well, this is the true image that will appear in the section with the spreadsheet. This is just what was being reflected when I was in the recording section itself. And if I wanted to, I could reposition this, I could move it wherever. I'll just go ahead and keep it down here in the corner. And now watch what happens when I play. You'll notice now I can't actually see myself, but it is. And so that's perfect. Now we have just the correct image. And it's a great way to make a tutorial. That way you can still personalize it by appearing on screen but you also can display whatever it is that you would like. So as you can see, these are really useful functions. Again, I think the screen and screen and camera are the ones you'll probably use the most, but it's a terrific way to make any kind of instructional video. If this video was helpful for you, would you please give it a like? And in the comments below, would you let me know if you've ever used any kind of screen capture software before? I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to Valor XL. We publish content on a regular basis, and our primary goal is to help small businesses to truly thrive. Thanks again for joining me today. Please come back for our next installment of Valor XL. And remember, we're committed to helping you do smart work. I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.